hi everyone today we will study about uh, symmetrical components lecture 1 so before that one I'll give a brief introduction about uh, the symmetrical components most of the faults that occur on a power system are unsymmetrical in nature so these unsymmetrical faults will create unbalanced condition on a power system and this unbalanced condition on a power system must be analyzed and unbalanced condition on a power system has to be carried out on three phase basis now how to carry out this unbalanced conditions on a three phase basis so we need some tool to analyze this unbalanced condition so the most convenient method of analyzing unbalanced operation is through symmetrical components. Symmetrical components is a powerful tool which was introduced first by C. L. Fortescue in 1918. This symmetrical component transformation is powerful tool for analysis and design of three phase system. One disadvantage of the symmetrical component analysis is that the sequence network results that has been obtained or again transformed into original three phase system by using inverse transformation because we are interested to analyze with actual three phase system result so this is one of the drawback so the inverse transformation has to be done in order to analyze the original three phase system the unbalanced Voltages, currents, power values are transformed into three sets of balanced voltages, currents and power. Means how to analyze this unbalanced condition on a power system using this symmetrical components. So now let us see the synthesis of unsymmetrical phasors from symmetrical components. The unbalanced system of n phases can be resolved into n systems of balanced phasors called the symmetrical components of the original phasors that means in three phase system that is the three phase unbalanced system or unbalanced phasors can be resolved into three sets of balanced vectors so now consider a set of three phase unbalanced voltages which are designated as vr vy and vb now this is the pictorial representation the vector diagram we are having vr vy and vb and the rotation of vectors will be in counterclockwise direction these three unbalanced phasors of three phase system can be resolved into three sets so three sets this is unbalanced vectors so this unbalanced vectors can be resolved into three sets of balanced vector each set containing three vectors these three sets are called as positive sequence, negative sequence and zero sequence components. Consider the original phase sequence is R, Y, B. So this is the original phase sequence R, Y, B. With respect to this original frequency, let us see how to apply the symmetrical component analysis on this unbalanced system. Now this is unbalanced system reproduced here. Now this unbalanced three unbalanced vectors are resolved into three sets so first one is positive sequence component consisting of three vectors one two and three so which are designated as vr vy and vb for positive sequence component the suffix one is indicated so in the positive sequence components consisting of three vectors of equal magnitude and are displaced from each other by an angle 120 degrees electrical degrees the phase sequence of this positive sequence component is same as that one of the original phasors that is original phase sequence is r y b now the positive sequence component is also r y b one indicates the positive sequence component so this is the first set then the second set is known as negative sequence component this negative sequence component also consisting of three vectors of equal in magnitude and are displaced from each other by an angle 120 degrees with the phase sequence 
opposite to that one of your original phase sequence. Original phase sequence is R Y B. Now in negative sequence component, the phase sequence is R B and Y. So that is only the difference between positive sequence and negative sequence. Then the third set is zero sequence. This zero sequence component also consisting of three vectors of equal magnitude with the zero phase displacement between each other. So this is zero sequence component. So unbalanced system converted into or resolved into three sets: first set, second set, and third set, which are known as positive sequence, negative sequence, and zero sequence components. Now, how to get this unbalanced phase or values from this symmetrical components? So now let us consider. This is the first set positive sequence component. To this positive sequence components, the respective components of negative and zero sequence components must be added in order to get the value of unbalanced phasor. Now let us take this positive sequence as it is. Now first, let us consider for R phase. This is VR1. To this VR1, we are going to add the negative sequence component that is VR2 in the same direction as this one. So to VR1, we are going to add VR2 in the same direction like this. Then to VR2, we are going to add VR0. So first we are analyzing for R phase only. So let us add vectorially the corresponding components of positive, negative and zero sequence components. VR2. Then this is VR0 is added in the same direction. So VR0 is added in the same direction. So this is the direction. Now vectorial addition of VR1, VR2 and VR0 is your resultant VR that is unbalanced phase R that is unbalanced voltage in R phase is a vectorial addition of VR1, VR2 and VR0. Okay, so positive sequence plus negative sequence plus zero sequence components is equal to the resultant voltage in R phase. So that is unbalanced voltage in R phase. Similarly, let us analyze for Y phase. So this is y, VY1, this one. To this VY1, we will add the negative sequence component, the corresponding negative sequence component that is for Y phase. This is y, VY2. So we will add it for VY1, so VY2 in the same direction. So this is the VY2 which is in the same direction as this one. Now to this VY2, we will add VY0 in the same direction. So we will add to VY2, we will add VY0. So vectorial addition of VY1, VY2 and VY0 is nothing but your VY. Is nothing but your Vy. So this is a unbalanced voltage in line Y. Similarly for B, B phase, Vb1, Vb2, the corresponding Vb2 vector is here in this direction. So I am going to add Vb2 here in the same direction. Then to this Vb2, I am going to add Vb0. To this Vb2, I am going to add Vb0 in the same direction as the this one. So therefore, VB1, VB2, VB0, vectorial addition of these three components will be your resultant vector. So that is your VB. So we got the unbalanced values of VR, VY and VB. So therefore, it can be written as VR is equal to vectorial addition of VR1 plus VR2 plus VR0. Similarly, for Vy, it is equal to Vy1 plus Vy2 plus Vy0. Similarly, Vb is equal to, so we are having Vb1 plus Vb2 plus Vb0. So this is how we have obtained the unbalanced phasors from their respective symmetrical components. Thank you.